Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist and here I'm covering Svelte.js and in this example we are going to talk about simple shopping cart application using store. We have already talked about uh, writable store, readable store and derived store. In this example we are going to manage the product data and the shopping cart data in the store and let's see how we can update that information through uh, product item component, cart item component or cart component. Okay. So this is our sandbox, a plain and simple platform where we can play with the Swell.js. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to create two folders. One is, let's say, cart. Another is a product. And inside this, we can further create a cart.store.js. Okay. And here inside product, we are going to have product dot store.js so i'm going to have a card store and the product store card store will manage the data inside the cart because there can be a lot of things can happen you can add remove update delete the items from the card so we are going to import writable so we are going to import writable from svelte and we have a two different store import writable from Svelte store okay now this is fine we have to pass store so this is writable similarly we can do it in the card store and we can create our object so here const product So here we have export const products and this is writable and this is my object okay this store is initialized with this thing and here I do have products and the product contains the ID title and price couple of things we are adding here we can ID set P2, price we can increase, okay these are the two products we have and then inside cart, so cart is also another store, writable store, we can add uh, same thing let's say and here we can change it to cart and export const cart, this is writable and here we have ID title and price let's say these are the items we put inside car these are like a default initialization out of those products p1 p2 i have the same inside the car so i have the store ready now what we need to do is we need to create the components to consume these stores so what i will do i will create a cart dot swell component and another component is a cart item component okay why we need cart item inside cart we are going to render we are going to iterate onto the cart items and then cart items we are going to render through each iteration so cart component uh, is simple we are can use simple template okay now what we can do is we are going to use two different approach first is let's say we are going to subscribe and unsubscribe so we need to import couple of things from svelte.js uh, so first of all the lifecycle hook on destroy and then we have couple of components like what we need to import from store so this is the cart store i'm going to import cart from the store import or let's rename it to cart items because these are nothing but cart items and then we can import cart items from the store
okay and we can simply say okay now we have cart items from the store how can we read it there is a one way is we don't need to subscribe or unsubscribe it we just put a dollar symbol let's talk about the first simple approach here we have items and i can simply say is unsubscribe i have to subscribe it so i will be subscribing cart items dot subscribe and subscribe all the items and what i will do is items equal to i have assigned all the items and on destroy this is the life cycle method we are using in this life cycle method if we have unsubscribe variable then we can just call it and it will unsubscribe the store okay so what we got we got some variables we got the data from the store items if uh, cart items has the data then we are already subscribing it we got the data inside the items now we can just loop on to this in the template so we just create a simple section and inside this we can simply do is each of card each of the items as item here we have item dot id and it will loop it inside each block and here we are going to render cart item let's say this is the component i'm creating this is a child component i will be creating this will be passing the id this will be passing the title uh, simple whatever the attributes we have item dot title we are passing all these as a props price also from item dot price okay so if this is there i mean we have a length we can also do a conditional stuff here let's say if the there is the length is zero then we can do else and we can simply say is card is empty okay card is empty okay now we need to create card item component import card item import cart item from so here we can create cart item dot it's already created we just need to feed in information inside that so this is cart item okay we already have this name let's change it to cart item component so there is a no name conflict cart item component and we are passing id title and price as a props right this is when you are subscribing and unsubscribing things okay then you will deal it with like this let's say i'm not fine with this subscribe and this logic i wanted to just use the dollar symbol what what we will do is in that case we can simply do each inside dollar cart item this is the same variable cart item as item and i can just still use the same i don't need to deal with the subscribe and subscribe thing here rest all the things are same so what i will do is i will create a cart item component and cart item component here we are receiving things inside a props so first we will receive those things so here we are getting export export let id export let price export let uh, title these are the three things we are getting as a props right now this is a cart item component individual component individual item so what we can do is this item is already inside a cart we can remove it right so these things we can do we can first get things from inside a from store 
so here we have cart store.js and from there we are getting cart items i think it is cart item so we got the cart item from there and what we will do is we also have the products like you wanted to fetch the particular product information let's just deal with the cart item okay here what we will do is here we are going to have a single method which is remove from cart because item is already in the cart we are not going to add it again remove from cart and as we discussed how can we remove things from the cart so what is this function remove from cart and here cart items cart item is already inside a store we can do update method on that and we already have all the items which are already there and what we need to do is just return all the items removing the single item right so items dot filter this is all the items we have if item dot id not equal equal to the id we are passing then just return all the items so it is just updating uh, the cart items after removing this id which we have received is from the component okay now we can just display the information about the cart okay i do have h1 which is talking about the title so we have title we have price and then we have button that button is doing a lot of things we have on click on that and that button is doing remove from cart remove from cart and the action is remove from cart okay a simple cart item component the objective is you just display the id price title and then you also have a remove so what we are doing is here we got all the data from the cart store from the cart items we are able to capture the data without even subscribe and subscribe because we are using dollar which is removing the need of subscribing and unsubscribing it is handled internally we got cart items which is an array of cart items we iterate and we are rendering cart item component now cart item component is doing just rendering this and passing we are passing id title price okay let's plug this in with our component so here appswelt.js here we can just import cart from cart cart dot svelte and then we can simply do is render the cart component so it is just like a list when we click on to this the item is removed right and why what i'm wondering is why there is no button inside this so there is a cart item component cart item component should show one button remove from cart okay we put this inside a lie not a good approach let's create simple section okay let me just remove the stylings we are populating inside this we don't have any style why oh, it is applying some background let's see if we are populating some styles okay we have some svelte js style uh, sorry tailwind styles let's remove them we are not using any type of styles right now save it and reload it yeah this looks nice now so we have removed from cart it's gone right so and now what we can do is product store or product item component will start calling add item to the cart so from the product list you will have add button and from there you should be able to add the item so inside product we already have a product store let's create a product component 
so go to here inside products create a products dot swell js component and what we will do here is simple let's copy things from existing component so we don't need to write things again and again so here we are going to get the cart items let's say here things will change here we are going to have product item component and we are going to create this file product item svelte okay we are good now we are getting the products we need to get the products from the store so what was our store looks like uh, we have this stores and we have products so we'll import this from products dot store dot js or it is simple product just take care of the file naming so we get the product products and we can loop on to that using simple dollar each products with the dollar as product and we can item we can iterate using single product component we can pass all the data so it's a product item component we can pass the id title price id title price let's keep it these things only uh, it's should a product so it will be a product dot id okay else we don't need else because products will always be there now product item component so inside product item component we can copy a little bit from cart item it's going to look like kind of similar here we have we are going to get the products from the store sorry now we are inside a product item so you can actually do a add item to the cart right this action you will be triggering by clicking onto the product and we are going to update the cart items cart items we are getting from the cart store right and we are getting id price title from the props and there is a button that button is doing add to cart okay this is add to cart and what we will do is cart items dot update these are all the items i have and now we are adding a new item right so what we can do is i have my all the items these are all the items I have and I can create a, another object because I have all the properties ID, title, price. You are getting that, that as a props and when you click on add, we will add that. We will just update this array of cart items and new item is there. Now to reflect this on the UI, we need to add this product component somewhere on the apps component. So here I have import card. Similarly, I can show import product from product product dot swelled, which s, and then we just render it same as the card component. Okay, so Eric wrote find module inside a product item. Okay, the path is wrong. We need to go one path up and then we need to go inside cart. Now this looks resolved. Item is not defined. That is inside products. Okay, because I copied a couple of things. It is product, not item or light. Like, let's say it's item. It's just a variable name. Okay, remove from cart. So inside product store, we have two products, P1. So this is coming from product. Okay, and this is our cart, which is already there. I mean, this item is already in the cart, so I just wanted to tag them that they are already inside cart so we have two items already in the cart and two items in the product list and i will change the label here 
because here we are doing add to cart not remove so we can do some duplicate keys okay so that is true we have product so let's put it as a key 4 and key 5 or key 6 reload the application again yeah this has been added and this is the product product is inventory right so we are not removing items from the product we are just adding this item inside the cart okay just remove these labels now we don't need these identifiers i am able to see all the products and all the items we can just create some separator that, that these are the products and these are the items so here let's say okay these are my cart items and these are the products right i click on to it this has been added into the cart if i click on to this this also added into the cart right so this is how it is working it's a simple store we have a cart store we have product store from the product components we are adding items to the cart and when you remove these are getting removed that's it now cart is empty you add it again okay duplicate keys because i'm adding that same item again so it will be duplicate keys we need to generate the ids dynamically but my objective of this video is just to understand the exam uh, understand the concept of the writable store and how we can update it i hope this is clear this is a simple example with the sandbox link i will share this link so you can also take a look into this uh thanks everyone